For 11 years, 130-pound Tug was a member of Betsy's family. We traveled with him and we, we did everything with him. But when Tug's health started failing, Betsy had to make a decision that every pet owner dreads. He had trouble getting up and he would slip on the floors. Instead of bringing Tug to the vet office, Betsy chose Lap of Love, a service that performs at-home euthanasia. I'm able to, to ease that suffering and, and help the family say goodbye the most dignified and loving way. <laughs> At age 31, Mary Gardner quit her career in computer software to become a veterinarian after she lost her beloved dog, Snow White. And that just changed my world. Now Mary helps other pet owners say goodbye. She travels to the pet's own environment to perform euthanasia. The animals can lie on their favorite beds and other dogs and cats can be there too. There's something very special about doing it this way. Veterinarian Jeff Werber recommends the at-home service over the clinic environment. But when it comes to this time, where it is their last experience on this earth, do I want them in an environment where they are agitated, where they're anxious, where there might be a, a bit of a fear? Lap of Love also offers hospice for pets. This end-of-life program provides support, medical care, and comfort for animals during their final days. I got the shoe. Betsy says Tug's last moments were calm. And there were tears, but it was just so nice. Now she's welcomed a new member to the family, Ew, Tug's great, you know? great, great <laughs> grandnephew, Kanuk. He'll lay on my lap, and I think, and he sleeps in bed. And while there will never be another Tug, Betsy is loving every minute with her new pup. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.